So the day has come. I've been going nuts this morning. Um, I got up, first thing I did was I came out and I lifted the, the board here and uh, there's some little squeaking and we have babies. So I'm so excited to show you guys. Oh, I'm just going nuts. I haven't looked at them yet. I actually went back inside, got the camera, got Maggie. So I'm, I've got the jitters because I haven't even looked at them yet other than a quick peek. So introducing our new baby mink. Okay, mama. Which one is it? Right here. Oh. oh, look at that. I, there's no mink in here, no, right? That's going to bite my bum. I need to clean that up so we can see better. Oh, oh they're nursing. Oh, look at that. So I know this question or concern is going to come up, so I figured I'd nip it in the bud while I can. So touching baby animals very rarely causes the mother to kill the babies or to abandon the babies because of the scent. That's an old wives tale. I've never seen an animal where that actually happens. Now that doesn't mean there isn't some random species of something somewhere that won't, but I've never actually seen it. And to my knowledge, it's it's pretty much a wives tale. Now, there are certain mothers, like rodents um, and, and a few other animals, where if you bother the babies enough, the mother might stress out and eat them, but it has nothing to do with your scent and everything to do with the mother just being stressed out. Um, so there's no concern whatsoever with touching the babies. And in the case of mink, you know, these mink have been raised in captivity for over a hundred years. And for over a hundred years, mm -hmm. they and their ancestors were touched right after birth. Now, having said that, I want to handle them as little as possible because, yes, stress could cause some, some issues. The mother might, uh, you know, not take care of them as well as she could or, or things like that. So we're going to avoid stressing the mother out, but there is no concern whatsoever for touching the babies. That <laughs> Hi. They have that thick skin on their back, on their neck. Look how cute they're nursing. Then are you guys gonna have some up? Huh? Oh, she looks pregnant. This one. Let's see that one. That one too. Yeah. Okay, let's take a look at them. <clears throat> uh oh, that one is over there. Okay, Mama, we need to see your babies, sweetheart. We need to check them, make sure they're all good. Can I check them? Come on out, sweetheart. Come on out, let me check your babies. Can I check your babies? Maybe I can reach in and pull them out. I just hit you. She might like me. Hey, Mama. Can I see these babies? I want to make sure they're all good. They don't have any umbilical cords tangled or anything. Can I check them, sweetheart? You're going to get bit. Yeah. Mama Sita, let me check these little babies. Come on out. Let me check the babies. Come on out, let me check the babies. There we go, good girl. Oh, good mama. Oh, good mama. Good mama. Good girl, let me check the babies. I'll be quick. Okay, let's see what we got here. So we're gonna check to make sure everything's good. They don't have any tangled umbilical cords or any other problems here. Oh, these are so fresh, look. Their umbilical cords haven't even dried yet. These are like minutes old, maybe hours at the very, very, very most. So we need to be brief here. Just make sure they're all good. Oh wow, how many do we have? One, two, three, four. We got nine at least, 10? Ten. 10. We got 10. 
Wow, is she only had one breeding hook? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we've got ten babies. Holy crap, that's a big litter. Okay, mama. Oh, good girl. She's going potty. Yeah, they look good. So let's um, check them out one by one here. Put them in my shirt. Female. Two is a male. Yeah. <clears throat> one male, one female. Oh, this one's got a little bit of a umbilical cord tangle here. Oh, wow, these are so fresh. No. Male. Okay, so we got two males and a female. Oh, that one's creeping. Another female, so two and two. We've got That's a male, think. another male, so three and two. Another female, three and three. Another three female, four and three. Okay, mama, we're hurrying. Another female, five and three. Another female, six and three. Nice. Another female, seven and three. Okay, let's get the mama back in there. And, we'll and she's, there you go, mama. There you go. We'll leave you alone now. Come on back in, Mama. Oh, 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 there you go. Let's close you up. Let her take care of her babies. We don't want to bother them any further. Got another squealing baby here. Her umbilical cord already came off, though. <laughs> hey, little squealer. Oh, well, she woke up. Now she's ready for food. Are you ready for real oh, kiss, too? there's no food. Okay, let's, oops. You ready for me? I'll get you. Oh, let's go get you inside. <laughs> oh.